Good afternoon. Hello, Genevieve. How are you? Let's see, let's see. Good afternoon, Miss. How are you, girl? We missed you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so me. Are you sick? Sí. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. I hope you get better. Espero que se pueda recuperar. Thanks, teacher. All right. Welcome back, Genevieve. It's good that you are back in class. Let's wait for the other girls. Meanwhile, we are going to start like with the recalling previous learning, right? Let's see. Hi, Carla. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good to have you in class. All right, girls, let's get started. Did you have fun? Today we are going to advance quite a lot in section four, all right? Maybe we won't be able to finish the section today, but we're going to advance a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that tomorrow we can finish section four and then you finish it all and we start with section five, all right? So let's get this thing going on. Today is class 11, by the way. We have the guiding structure for negative. If you remember last class, we saw simple past, right? We were working with simple past. We were explaining what's simple past, when do we use it, how do we use it? And basically everything is based on the verbs, right? We were um, studying some verbs like regular verbs. Today we're going to study other verbs like irregular verbs, which are also really important, okay? So let's see. This is the guiding structure for negative. I want you to take into consideration this again, because today we are going to review, or we are going to work in a part of the platform in which this is also developed, right? Okay. All right, let's continue, girls. So let me check. Carla Garcia, can you please tell me the guiding structure? Let's see. Hello, Carlita, are you there? Okay, let's go with Karen Heyman. Okay, Karen, please tell me the structure. Me dice la estructura. Good afternoon, Miss. Good afternoon, Karen, welcome. Subject plus, esa no sé cómo se pronuncia. Didn't. La segunda, didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, subject plus didn't plus verb in present, plus complement. That's correct. Excellent, Karen. Thank you. All right. Recuerde que el didn't es en pasado, right? Si ustedes recuerdan en el simple present, ustedes estudiaron el, el don't, right? En este caso tenemos el didn't, que es el auxiliary, y luego tenemos el, el verb in simple present. Recuerden, algo que les enfaticé mucho in last class it was that you cannot change the verb when you have your auxiliary. Las ventajas de tener nuestro auxiliar es que él ejerce la acción, right? Basically. No es que la ejerza, sino que ayuda al otro verb y este ya no tiene que cambiar. Entonces es más fácil la parte negativa. Solo es de acoplarnos a la pronunciation, right? Didn't, 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 right? So remember, if you use didn't, Please don't change the following verb, right? No podemos decir, I didn't saw, right? No podemos decir eso. I didn't liked. No. Yo dejo mi verbo, el que le sigue después de didn't, yo lo dejo in simple present. Verb in present, okay? Let's go on with the guiding examples. Let's check some of these guiding examples. And let's see. Patricia Pacheco, can you please tell me the guiding examples? Okay. My sister didn't talk, talk to my, bro, my mother yesterday. 
I didn't walk in the park this morning. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat vegetables for lunch. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Patricia. All right, let's check Thank this you. out. Ahorita estamos con, con los regular verbs, all right? Y esto pues están, eh, no están tan fáciles por la pronunciation, right? Pero en cuanto a memorizarlos, quizás es un poco más accesible. Ya vamos a ver por qué, all right? Aparte que a estos básicamente solo se les agrega el ED. Ahora vamos a desarrollar, después de este review y lo que continúa, vamos a desarrollar eh, el tense, siempre, simple past, pero con irregular verbs, los cuales cambian, right, completamente. Y ahí vamos a, vamos a ir viendo los vídeos. Quiero explicar esto. Vamos a ir viendo los vídeos de la plataforma porque necesito que ese oído se nos vaya desarrollando más, right? Quizás solo con lo que yo les eh, pongo aquí o lo que yo les digo, necesitamos otra práctica, right? Entonces siempre vamos a tener los vídeos de la plataforma, por lo menos ahorita que es el simple past. So let's continue. Well, you practiced last class, so let me check. Let me ask some of you. Let's see, Maria Siguenza. Good afternoon, Maria. How are you? Bye, teacher. Excellent. Very good. All right, Mary. Can you please tell me one example that you create last class? Algún ejemplo que tenga de lo que creó la clase pasada, utilizando el negativo. Okay. Um, I didn't watch a movie at night. All right. There you go. I didn't watch a movie at night. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Gloria Mena. Gloria, can you please tell me an example? Uh, yes. I didn't. I didn't. Pass, dice. I didn't pass? Ah, excuse me, permítame. Yes, yes, no se preocupe. <laughs> Take your time. Let's have meanwhile, what about Natalia? Let's see, Natalia, can you tell me an example? Okay, Miss, good, af good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, welcome. Um, I didn't work in weekend. Ah, there you go. I didn't work in the weekend. That's great, excellent, very good. All right, let's see, what about Jenny Romero? Ooh. Jenny, can you tell me an example, please? Hello. Um, I didn't drink soda this uh, in my lunch. There you go. I didn't uh, drink my soda in my last. Sorry. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, disculpe. Yo creo que yo le interrumpí a usted. Continue. Okay. Um, I didn't drink uh, soda in my last dinner. Ah, uh, there you go. Excellent. Very good. Very good. What about you, Gloria? Let's see. I I didn't drive in, in the Saturday. Saturday. Ah, there you go. Excellent. I didn't drive on Saturday. Very good. I didn't I didn't um uh, uh, cook in in the In the Saturday at night. Okay, I didn't cook on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Excellent, yes. very good, Gloria. There you go. All right. Remember, girls. Basically, simple past is to talk about past actions, right? Something that maybe you did or you didn't do during past time, right? So by right now, by this time. We only have a like breakfast and lunch in the morning and half of the afternoon, right? So until that time, you are able to use simple past. 
but for things that are going to happen at night, we are not able to use, all right? So let's see, what about you, Patricia? Do you have an example? Yes, teacher, I didn't go to the beach in last weekend. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Patricia. Very good. All right, everybody, let's continue. Let's check. Ah, by the way, do you have any questions, girls? ¿Tienen hasta aquí alguna pregunta de la estructura del simple past? Teacher. Ajá. Y, y si yo quiero continuar esto, por ejemplo, I didn't go to the beach last, last weekend, uh -huh. but I go, I did, but I went to mountain. That's correct. That's correct. Ah. I went to Monday last week. That's correct. That's correct. Está muy bien. Ahí está bien. Inclusive, usted le puede agregar un conector eh, instead. ¿Qué significa? Instead significa en vez de eso, I went to Monday. Instead, I went to, to Monday. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Very good. Eso solo para que suene más eh, llamativo, right? Basically. Excellent girls. Now, si tienen una consulta ahorita, recuerden que hasta aquí hemos utilizado los regular verbs. Todavía no hemos llegado a los irregulars. Questions? No questions? Okay, so let's move on, girls. Pronunciation. Simple past ED ending. All right, if you remember. Si recuerdan, la clase pasada decíamos esto, right? Tal vez no es que sean difíciles de utilizar, pero the pronunciation is difficult, right? But today we are going to see the video that is presented on the platform. After that video, we are going to practice again the same exact information, and then you will practice alone, okay? So let's go, let me share it with you. Vamos a tener two chances de escuchar cómo es la pronunciation. La primera del video, Luego Miss Arevalo is going to give you the pronunciation. And then the third one is going to be all by yourself. La última o la tercera va a ser solo para ustedes, right? The participation. So let's pay attention. Here we go. In past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched. These verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me- Keep into consideration, voiceless and voice sound, right? Here we go. Let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, Watch. Turn. Now, let's take this into consideration. If you do this, this action, right? Putting your fingers over here. With this normal verbs or instead with these verbs in simple present, you won't feel any vibration, right? For example, watch. watch. You don't feel a vibration, uh -huh, exactly turn maybe you feel a sort of vibration but it's not completely let's pay attention why watch turn watch turn watch turn whenever we pronounce the verb watch there is no vibration on our atoms apple this is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. 
that's basically the difference. When you have a word in which you don't feel the vibration, cuando tenemos una palabra en la que no sentimos la vibración, a eso se le llama voiceless sound, right? Sonido sordo. Eh, si tenemos una palabra a la que sí se le siente vibration, a esa se le llama eh, sound, right? Sound intonation, I think. So let me check. This is called a voice sound. A voice sound. Porque aquí sí tienen la vibration ustedes. Es decir, que este sonido de esa palabra sí se ejerce. Right? Here we go. Let's continue. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has the sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Okay, let's pause it in here. Basically, the information is telling you the words that ends with those letters like P, K, S, H, C, H, J, and G, H, T, H, S, S, C, or X those words are going to sound like t, t at the end, right? You are always going to use the ed, right? Siempre le vamos a agregar el ed, pero el sonido, it's different. You're, it, they are going to sound like if they have t. Van a sonar como si tuvieran t al final, right? Esta es la regla que se aplica, right? Para estas palabras que terminan con estas letras, okay? With those consonants. Let's continue. The following consonants have voice sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved. Used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website, bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, let's go back to the PPT. Let's check this information, all right? Now, as I told you before, we, we needed to watch the video so that <clears throat> you have like a specific pronunciation. Of course, I'm going to do the same just to reinforce that, okay? So here we go. Let's pay attention. I'm going to explain this step, step by step. If you have words that end like T or D, like in this case, want, let me have it over here. Let's suppose that they don't have the ED. So they end on T, right? The same thing for D, need. The grammatical rule says you have to pronounce, pronounce it as if they had ED, all right, or ID. In this case, I'm going to say wanted, wanted needed, 
need it, right? If I have these consonants like P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, or X, these words are going to sound like this. Helped, helped, looked, looked, washed, washed, watched, watched, laughed, laughed, breast, breast, kissed, kissed, danced, danced, fixed, fixed. Let's go with the next part. What if we have the voice, the voiced sound, which means that the sound is going to be stronger, right? In el caso de estas, el sonido es más fuerte, right? Tenemos estas. We have L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, and C. So my words are going to sound as if they had D at the end, right? For example, cold, cleaned, offered. Si, si van escuchando, me dicen si van escuchando, right? Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed, right? Voy a hacer lo posible porque esa de suene. A eso me refiero con ustedes, right? Van a hacer lo posible porque esa de suene at the end, right? So let's practice. Now it's your turn. Sé que ahorita he pasado yo solo haciéndoles los voice sounds, all right? Pero ya es el turno de ustedes. So here we go. Let's start. No se preocupen si en alguna necesitan ayuda, me dicen, all right? Porque para eso estoy, para ayudarles. So let's start with... Let me see with Emperatriz. Okay, Emperatriz. Let me okay, know. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Usted me avisa si quiere que practique con usted o lo va a decir sola. Eh, lo puedo decir sola y usted me corrige. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Very good. Let's get started. Eh, Todos. All the, yes. all the yes. world. Okay. Eh, want. Want you. Needed. Helped. Look, what, what, love, breath, kissed, danced, fixed, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, and, and the I mean. last word, I mean. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, could you repeat again the last word? Amazed. Amazed. Okay. Look at me. Amazed. 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 Okay. Very thank you. Very good. Thank you. Esa, esa Z también suena amazed. Amazed. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Amazed. Very good, Emperatriz. You've been thank practicing. Thank you. All right. Let's go with another girl. Let me check. Let's go with Carla Garcia, please. Hola. Hello, Carlita. Action. Wanted, needed, helped, look, washed, watched, loved, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, colored, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used. Follow it, enjoy, amass. Okay, excellent. Carlita, repeat after me only these ones. Kissed. Kissed. Mm -hmm. Danced. Danced. Es que ando un poco gripa. Ajá, si la escucho, Carlita. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ay, I'm sorry, Carlita. Espero que se mejore, right? Gracias. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with 
Let's check. Let's go with Patricia. Okay, Patricia, tell me the sounds. If you need help, let me know. Help. Wait. Wait. Needed. Help. Look. Washed. Wash it. Loud. Braid. Kiss. Dance. Fix it. Yeah. Call it. Cleaning. Offer it. Damaged. Loved. Used. Following. Enjoyed. Amazed. Okay, repeat after me. Amazed. Amazed. <laughs> there you go. Excellent, <laughs> Patricia. Thank you. Before moving on with the other ones, because I want you all practice, just remember, if you notice, in these ones, si ustedes se fijan, aunque todas terminan con ed, a ninguna se le pone la e, right? In the pronunciation. Nos da específicamente, unas van a terminar con ed, otras con t, y otras con d. Y estas son las que siguen esas reglas. In this case, wanted, right? Wanted, needed. Then you go with this one, helped, looked, washed. En esta recuerden relajar más la, la boca, right? Para no confundir la acción de washed con wash, all right? So let's see, washed, washed, watched, watched, laughed, laughed. Breast, breast. Look at this one. Breast, breast. All right. So let's go with the following. Let's see. Do you have a question, Jenny? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I need the pronunciation and between wash and ah. wash. Why is the different? Because I I cannot. Uh, you can I confuse them. The, 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 yes, I can find it this different between okay. the words. Exactly. Los dos son verbos diferentes, right? Wash es lavar y washed yeah. es mirar. En este caso, para la primera usted va a relajar más la boca. Washed. Washed. Ya para la segunda, watched. Watched. Right? Estas son las únicas diferencias que se le pueden encontrar. Washed. Watched, watched, watched. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Excellent. Somebody else? Any other question before you practice? If you have any other question, you can ask me, all right? Uh -huh, Anita? No, you want no to question, break? teacher. Okay, but you want to practice? Okay. Excellent. Um, why? 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 Uh, okay. Uh, need? Need? Need it? Need it? And help? Look? Watch? What? There you go. Long breath, kissed, danced, fixed, cold, cold, clean, offer, tamed. <laughs> Love. Ah, la siguiente. Le ayudo con esta. Damaged. Okay. Damaged. 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 Mm -hmm. Love. Used. Just. Just. Used. Just. Followed. Mm -hmm. Angel. Uh, um, uh, amazed. Amazed. There you go. There you go, excellent, Anita, very good. 
Lo sintió difícil, Anita. Was it difficult? Eh, la terminación, sí, sí. Exactly, yeah, it's true. Uh -huh. Que a veces se nos puede olvidar, right? Por eso es que está bien que aquí se los hayan planteado así. ¿Cuáles terminan con T en el sonido, right? No es que termine en la escritura así, pero el sonido nos ayuda mucho a distinguirlo. Excellent, thank you, Anita. Let's go with Isis. Action, Isis, tell me the verbs. Okay. Uh, wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, loud, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Amazed. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Isis. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Let's go to this one, girls. ¿Por qué estamos practicando ahorita? Porque si se fijaron at the end of the video, aparte de que ustedes tienen que saber esta pronunciación y manejarla, en el video les dejaron una mini homework, right? Ustedes se van a grabar haciendo la pronunciación. Entonces, para eso, vamos a ayudarnos aquí, right? Entre todas, vamos a escuchar esa pronunciación y yo siempre les voy a ir ayudando. Let's go with... Gloria Mena. Action, Gloria. Want the, need the, help, look, wash, watch, low, breathe, Kids, dance, five, call, clean, offer, uh, damage, low, youth, following, enjoy, amazed. All right, amazed. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. Repeat after me, Gloria, please. Uh, followed. This one followed. Right. Excellent. Follow. Thank you. Uh -huh. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Buscando Natalia, pero no la veo. Okay, let's go with Maria Sigüenza. Let's see, Mary. Mm -hmm. There you go, there you go. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. All right. You are good. Excellent. Let's go with Karen Heyman. Let's see, Karen. Your turn. He wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, called, clean. A fall. Offered. Perdón. Offered. Offered. Damage. Used. Fall. Enjoyed. Amazed. Excellent. Thank you, Karen. There you go. Very good. Let's go with Genevieve. Okay, Genevieve, if you want to participate, this is your time. Okay, miss. Wanted, needed, helped, looked, washed, watched, loved, read, kissed, danced, fixed, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. 
Very good, excellent, thank you. Let's go with, let me check, porque me cayó otro mensaje aquí, a Vanessa, she can't, and also Karen Martinez, no puede. Okay, let's go with Fatima Enriquez. Okay, Fatima, please tell me the vocabulary. Wanted, need it, help, look, wash, what, loud, bread, kiss, dance, fix, call, clean it, offer, damage, love it, use, follow, enjoy, amaze. There you go, excellent, very good. Just repeat this one, loved. Love. Love. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Pretty good. All right, girls. Now, the other ones that didn't participate is because they are not able right now. Okay. So let's continue. Let's see. Simple past statements with irregular verbs. Okay. The difference between these two types of verbs that we have in English is that the regular ones are the ones that you just saw, right? They change only because you add the ed, but basically they don't change, right? They don't change. You just have to add the ed. Now, in irregular, it's different, totally different, because they change their whole form, right? They don't stay with the same form, they change the natural form. So that's why irregular verbs, Basically, the only way out that you have in here is to learn them, learn them and memorize them. And that's it, okay? There's no any other change. You have to memorize them, basically, because there's no a particular grammatical rule in which it's going to help you to understand how do they work, right? So let's go back to the video. We're going to watch some parts of the video, not all of them, but let's check. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing the statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learn the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart. Now, keep into consideration, this is the same exact formula that we already handled. La misma formula que ya manejamos, right? Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. No van a cambiar las formulas. Lo que cambia ya es el verbo en sí, right? La forma escrita y lo mismo la forma pronunciada, right? About the pronunciation. So let's keep into consideration this information and let's move on. Let's see what else do we have. You can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, 
the past of the verb do is did. Get up. The past is got up. Go. The past is went. Meet. The past is met. Come. The past is came. Have. The past is had. Let's analyze them. Okay, so far we're doing so good. Don't worry about the vocabulary because I have that vocabulary on the PPT, all right? What I want you to do is take advantage of this listening, okay? Take advantage of listening the pronunciation. Of course, after the video, Ms. Arevalo is going to pronounce it again. But don't worry about taking notes because I have the same exact information in the PPT, okay? The first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense. Did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, there you go. You have another homework. Now let's go back to the PPT. What do we have? As I mentioned before, basically the irregular change, the irregular verbs, those verbs change completely, all right? It's not only about adding ed, it's about changing them. That's why, as you heard in the video, he said, there's no other way, just memorize them, right? Memorize them. Because they don't have a particular uh, grammatical structure or something else. There's no explanation. As many things in grammar, they created that way and you only have to follow or stick to that way. All right, now let's see this practice. I'm gonna do it after me, you go. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? So here we go. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our, our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home late. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Let's check this out. The reason why you don't have the structures in here because are the same structures that you already learned, right? Las mismas estructuras que ustedes vieron en la clase pasada son las mismas que se aplican. Lo único que cambia son los verbs, right? Pero es la misma structure. So let's practice. Let's start with eh, Patricia. Please, Patricia, tell me the vocabulary. Affirmative and negative, please. Let's see if we have Patty. If not, let's go with Jenny Romero. Please, Jenny, tell me the vocabulary, the sentences in affirmative and negative. Okay. I didn't my homework. Mm -hmm. I didn't do laundry. Go, you got up at now. You didn't get up at 10. 
ten, yes? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We um we meet, yeah. No, we met. Met. Okay. Mm -hmm. We met our classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Do you have any question, Jenny, about this specifically? No, not, not teacher. No. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with, let's see. Fatima Enriquez, please tell me the sentences. But we're going to change a little bit, all right? Vamos a hacer un poco más dinámico para que no se me vea. <laughs> Let's see. Fatima, you are affirmative and Anita, you are negative. Van a ir una y una, okay? Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at um, 10. 10? 10 a.m. 10 a.m. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We meet your classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. There you go, excellent, thank you girls. <clears throat> Let's go with Genevieve. Genevieve, you are affirmative and Karen Heyman, you are negative. Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't, didn't get up at 10. He went. Sí, no puede decir 10, aunque ahí no aparece, pero por el sol que está atrás, podemos decir 10 a.m. Ok. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met or or is Miss Ayúdame. Our. Our cl classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a, pi a picnic. They didn't have a party. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Do you have any questions so far about this, Genevieve or Karen? Tiene alguna pregunta hasta aquí de esto? No, Miss. No. Okay. What about you, Karen? Okay, this thing. No, tampoco. Ni. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Very good. All right. Let me tell you something, girls. About this world, you saw, I'm going to say it, okay? Library. And this possessive adjective, yes, or this possessive pronoun is our. Right? Esa es la pronunciation, our. Okay? Let's go with the following. Let me have Isis. Isis, usted no ha pasado, right? No, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so you are affirmative. And Maria Siguenza, you are negative. Action. Okay. I did my homework. Déjeme chequear. I didn't do laundry. Okay. You get up at noon. He didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. I didn't go to the library. We meet our classmate. We didn't, we didn't meet our teacher. Uh, you came home late. You didn't 
come home early? They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Excellent, thank you, there you go. Do you have any question, girls, about this part specifically? Um, no, teacher, thanks. Thanks. What about you, Mary? No, teacher, thank you. Okay, excellent. Let's go with Emperatriz. You are affirmative. And Patricia, you are negative. Action. Okay. I did my homework. I did my homework. Va a trabajar con Gloria Mena. Gloria, you are negative. I didn't do laundry. Ajá, Emperatriz. You get up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 a.m. You didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came late. Ah, esta semana, el viernes. Okay, I think she's to didn't come, come early. Excuse me, teacher. Don't worry. No. They have a thing. They didn't have a party. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. All right, let's check this up. Tengo la lista de verbs que el teacher dio ahí. Obviously, <clears throat> obviously, there are more, right? Hay que ser bien, bien claros en esto. Hay más de, eh, más que solamente six, six irregular verbs, right? Tenemos más. Entonces, a medida que ustedes vayan avanzando, van a ir encontrando más, all right? Yo voy a procurar ponerles unos en la próxima clase. Some other ones that you can use. But meanwhile, we have these ones. Los que están en negrita son su, los verbos en simple present. Y ya los que están en rojo son simple past. Irregular verbs, right? Not to get confused. So let's see. We have do equals did. Get up equals got up. Go equals went. Meet equals met. Come equals came. Have equals had. Let's work. Some of you are going to work with me and some others are going to work with other classmates. So let's check. I'm going to have uh, Anita, please. I'm going to be simple present. Yo voy a ser simple present, Anita, and you are going to be simple past, okay? Okay. Do. Uh, equals did. Get up. Equals got up. Go. Equals when. Meet. Equals meet. Met. Met. Mm -hmm. Come. Equals come. Came. Came. Mm -hmm. Have. Equals have. Exactly. There you go. ¿Tiene sí. alguna duda, Anita? Pregunte. Eh, no, de pronunciación. <laughs> más en las. En, las en los que son pasado positivo. En, las, en el pasado, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en, en come, en presente, come. Y en pasado, came. 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 Exactly. Y That's meet, right. meet. Met. Met. Ajá, así como se escribe aquí. Met, met, met. Así como, okay. 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 Este, okay. Algo que les puede ayudar a ustedes, que sí he visto yo que ayuda mucho, es la manera en la que ustedes la van escuchando, pueden irlo escribiendo a la par también, right Como la pronunciation. Eso ayuda bastante. Cada uno va buscando como sus tácticas para agarrar bien esa pronunciation. Excellent. Let's go with... Karen, Karen Heyman, open your microphone and you are 
simple past irregular, and I'm going to be simple present. Do. Este, solo tengo una duda, ¿cómo se pronuncia la segunda en, en simple past? Got up. Ok. Eh, did. Get up. Got up. Go. Went. Meet. Met. Come. Came. Have. Have. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Let's go with Genevieve. You are simple present and Emperatriz, you are simple past. Action. Do. Emperatriz, no sé si su audio no is not working. Did. Get up. Uh, got up. Go. Went. Meet. Met. Come. Came. Have. Had. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's have Jenny Romero. You are simple present. And Gloria Mena, you are simple past. Action. Yes, Jenny, you are simple present. Usted son los Do, did, get up, what, go, when, meet, meet, come, came. Oh. Oh. There you go, excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, let's make a parenthesis in this one. Si ustedes los dicen eh, despacito, suena como got up, got up, right? Pero ya al decidirlo rápido, que es como se supone que debería de ir, es got up, got up, right? Got up. It almost sounds like if it has R, got up, but it doesn't have, right? So, got up. That's the correct pronunciation. Let's continue. Fatima, you are simple present. And let me check. Carla Garcia, you are simple past. Action. Do. Deal. Get up. Get up. Go. Went. Meet. Met. Come. Can. Have. Have. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, girls. All right, everybody. So far, are we doing so good? Or you have any questions? Hasta ahorita, ¿tienen alguna pregunta de esto? No, miss. No. All right. Excellent. Very good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Tomorrow we are going to continue for tomorrow's class. We have a conversation. Did you like it? Ahí sí ya vamos a aprender algo todavía más nuevo, right? Que sería el uso del did para preguntas, right? Ahora las he puesto a practicar mucho con la pronunciation porque creo que quizás eso es lo que más podría llegar a costarnos, right? La clase pasada practicaron también mucho con el writing, que sería la escritura, y esta clase hemos hecho mucho el speaking, que también es muy importante. Right, so for tomorrow's class, we're going to practice both things. Ya para la clase de mañana, como tenemos una nueva estructura, vamos a practicar eh, the speaking ability and also the writing ability. All right, girls? All right, y'all, that was pretty much it for today's class. If you don't have any questions, it was a pleasure to be with you here, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. Bye teacher. Take care. Tienen una duda, me preguntan, right? <laughs> Bye.